Well, good evening. Our minds are a wonderful instrument, a great tool, and a huge burden when it occupies us. Whatever burdens me, whatever I struggle with, eventually I recognize that it's empty. Realization happens in the realm of our obsessions. Freedom isn't something that you achieve by getting rid of your burden. Freedom is something you achieve by recognizing that your burden is empty. It's not something that can be explained or described. It can only be realized in your own mind in your own way, that whatever it is, it's empty. It's not a goal, it's not an achievement. It's a natural experience of just being, just this without the burden being real to the point that it burdens you. See it as empty. It doesn't mean that you're not dealing with it, that you're not living it, that you're not experiencing it, but you're not experiencing it the way you would if you were obsessed with your, your predetermined idea of what this means. You know, hand wringing. Oh, how many times I've spent my life hand wringing. Bodhisattva doesn't run away from the hell world, doesn't create a heaven world in order not to be in a hell world. A bodhisattva recognizes that the whole world is empty. This whole conversation is just an expedient means. Nothing is actually empty. Everything is empty. There comes a point in your practice, and it may happen many, many, many times, where you just feel free. You are free. What is that? You tell me. Phases that we go through at different times in our lives the burdens that we experience will be different. These are like seasons. Seasons come and go. One moment it's spring, the next moment it's fall, then it's winter. So the reason I mention different stages in life, because when I was a younger man, 
nothing really seemed to bother me. And then I started to get responsibilities like family. And then everything started to bother me. Then I felt the whole world on my shoulders. Now, I'm past all that. My children are adults. My work history is behind me. Now what do I have? Show me what's got your mind tight in knots. Can you show it to me? Can you hand it to me? If you can hand it to me, I'll take it. Put down the burden. It's empty. That's all. So now I have to ask the question, what burdens you? What if, if you wanted to be free, what would be the one thing you could be free of? The difficulty in that question is that it's not a laundry list you're asking about. That I think that most of us think that all we have is a laundry list. And things just get checked off of it. It gets better and better and better. So. But like most of the things on our list are things that uh, we think something else is responsible for right and the actual causes of these things we don't actually know what they are mm -hmm. so it's it's almost like an emanation i was like um uh having a hard day so everything's hard or yes i feel yeah. like i feel like a million bucks everything looks great yeah you know, it's all kind of like an emanating I had an interesting experience the night I lost the chukpi. It was gone. Couldn't find it. Fran saw me looking for it. I lifted up the cushion. It's like, where did it go? <laughs> now, I could have had all different kinds of reactions to that. Somebody stole? Why would somebody steal the chukpi? What person did that? <laughs> so, life is always kind of Jabbing us, sticking us, always. As long as we have a body, something is prodding us. And what is it prodding us to do? To recognize it's empty. So then we can react from a much clearer kind of place rather than. You know, like you say, blaming the world out there. Char Charlene is really good at laughing at herself. And she's taught me that. She she will just, I mean, big bellowing laughing at stupid things that happen like this, you know, where I lost this. It's like, she would think that's hilarious. And uh, my default would have been to be angry at myself or somebody or something. Uh, fortunately, I've been giving that up. So, you know, people in our lives are just great because they, it's just life prodding us. You know, you can blame it on that person, but they're just life. Just life. Because I, I, you know, I, I might have the intellectual understanding that it's empty, but I'm not really getting it. <laughs> yeah, and like, I think when it comes down to it, I think that we are, well, I think there's a, there's a correlation between feeling good and knowing something. 
that mm -hmm. is challenging. Like, but in the you know, Buddhist sense, uh, when when bad things happen, difficulties arise, you're struggling. This is actually where all the good material is, and and it's uh, it, that's not uh, maybe a great answer for somebody in distress. Yeah, but actually, these these kind of things, uh, burdens and um, sometimes long lasting, can yeah yield a good lesson, hopefully. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, know what I'm I saying really, I just, I just, uh, I, I just feel like. Um, well, life prodding us sometimes hurts really yeah. bad. Well, I think and it can hurt for a long time. Yeah. It's it's a it's kind yeah. of a you know, it's it's hard to realize that, you know, the misconception is that um we're we're just all the time sitting here to feel good all the time. Yes. And I mean we are because you know, in a way like the um clarity and detachment and all those things are have you know, that's that's the calm of the you know, of being, um, and achieving that calm is is good. But you know, it's like it's all a ball of wax. We have minds, we have nerve endings, we have, and the, you know, waking up in the middle of the night um, has things associated to it that yes, it does. aren't going to. It's going to be uneasy. You know? It's just that's what it is, right? Yeah, it's uneasy. Yeah. So. You couldn't find the stick that reminded me of, you know, for me at this point in my life, it's walking into a room and forgetting what I came in for. It's looking for my reading glasses, looking for my phone, of, you know, did I do this or did I forget to do it? Or just, you know, those kind of things. Uh, yeah. You, that just tend to add up and create a feeling of frustration. You know, there, there's such small, minor things. Mm -hmm. What you're reminding me of is the, the the letting go of things as they happen. You know, I've already let go of this. You know, I mean, it's not like I'm oh I'm losing my mind here. You know, one more thing that I'm not remembering. You know, because there's this fear that we're becoming less and less productive human beings because we've been kind of taught that that's what happens to us. And that's understandable. Okay. I think we can be done, huh? All right. Thank you. Thank you.